Flash marker, Bruce Springsteen. Dude, I don't know. We got an hour and a half left in the stream. Do you run it back with Tainted <laughs> Jacob? No, no, you can't. You can't. Dude, but I love I loved Tainted Forgotten. Let's do some Tainted Forgotten. I love Tainted Forgotten, man. God, I hate Isaac. Sorry to hear that. Um, keep keep it up. Proud of you. I mean, it's not like... Uh, um, I, I think here's what I would say, okay? I, I got stunlocked for a moment and then I came up with a punchline. Left arm. People who hate Isaac. Right arm. People who love Isaac. Caption. Hating watching NL play Isaac because he never talks about the game at all. Something like that. You know, it could work. Took me a second to figure something out, but we kind of came up with it. Occasionally people come in and they're like, I'm enjoying the stream, but I wish you would tone down the banter like 20%. Literally, like, I... I can't disagree, but I also don't know how. Like, it's not like a dial. It's just like, you know... It's just some some runs, you've... I don't know, I just like, I can't... I don't feel good about myself. Full stop. No, I'm trying... The... I'm trying to think of the way that I would describe it, okay? It's something like... Doing this job is absurd, but as long as you don't actively every moment acknowledge that you're doing the job if you can you know enter into some kind of delusion that you're an entertainer or you're this is like weird alt comedy or something like that then then you don't think about it the second i find myself doing commentary like like i did during the rain game um where you're like and then i'm gonna go over here and do this it all comes crashing down on me and I'm like what the hell am I doing I'm just saying what's happening on the screen and it's uh like did did what what am I doing with my life this is they can obviously see that I'm going over here because it, it's on the screen so why are you saying it and I'm like because I, I don't have anything else to say right now and I lose confidence in myself so the the banter is is not a uh, is not like a boolean on off sort of thing. Seen any cool poops in the street lately? Great question. Thank you. No, um, I'm actually I'm the outside uh, era is is temporarily on hiatus because if you you can just do it for yourself. This is a bit that has some at home participation. If you type Vancouver weather into, you know, a search engine right now, you will see that we are expected to have rain for uh, the next 10 days. So, it's going to it's gonna take a little bit. Now, it doesn't, when it's raining, it's not like it rains 100% of the time, but it's going to, you know, it's going to minimize the outdoor, uh, the outdoor exposure for sure. Okay. Very simple. Boss Rush. Dark. Boss Rush Light Path. Boss Rush Light Path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which dad archetype are you at the barbecue? Um. Hmm. I, so I, I'm not even going to ask you what the dad archetypes are. I'm going to prognosticate. Um, I don't know why I went alt path, by the way. But uh, I'm going to prognosticate on what the, the dad uh, archetypes are. One would be... Uh, dad who tries to take control of the grill or gets very pushy about the barbecue and is like, hey, are you going to flip those? Hey, you should flip those. Can you flip that one? Like, that's that's definitely, that's the grill master dad. Even if he's not in charge of the grill, he's like, this is my domain. Um, I feel like there's like, don't worry about it, dad. That is like, even if a kid like, you know, 
cracks a tooth open or something like that. They're just like, nah, we'll deal, we'll deal with it later. Ah, don't worry, they're kids. Don't worry about it. Hey, the kids are playing with the fireworks in the shed again. Ah, don't worry about it, you know? They're kids. That's what they do. Chill, dad. There's daycare dad. I, I hate to say it, but I, I, I have been daycare dad when I go to, like, my, uh, my in-law's place. Which only happened before I was a dad, but that's where, like, I would go... It's the dad who's not a dad yet, I guess is a good way to describe it. So, like, when I would go to uh, my in-law's place, they clearly, like... I don't want to say they were sick of their kids, right? Because that's not what I mean, but they were like, finally, there's another adult here. Um, how about, like, you play with the kids so we can have the only break, you know, we've had in months? I've, I've been that daycare dad at my in-laws place for sure um, but I don't know at, at the barbecue what kind of dad am I I don't know don't have an answer uh, d dad who um, offends the host by bringing his own beer and then when the host says you know we had beer um, just going it's, yeah, the, the craft beer dad. Maybe I'm the craft beer dad. I'm gonna die in here. I'm, I'm literally doing nothing. Like, I'm not even throwing... I'm not even throwing the skull. Like, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Hey! Okay, try again. Air fryer, Dad? Oh, baby. Dunk a dunk. Dunk a da dunk. Every barbecue I've ever been to has been BYOB. Dude, I don't think I've been to, like, I haven't been to too many uh, barbecues as an adult. We, we had some in college for sure. Um, but, like, social barbecues? On honestly, the thing is, I live, uh, far away from my family, uh, and I live in a city where if you have, like, a deck that can support more than five people, you're a literal multi-millionaire. So I, I don't think I'm in barbecue country. I'm not, I'm not in the barbecue stage of my life right now. Am I in bet coins? What's the ABV on that bear? Why'd you bring your own bear? We have bed lat with lamb. You don't like Mats Klamata? It <laughs> does not work at all. That being said, you don't like Mertz Klamurder? <laughs> that, that works! How many bet coins do you own? That's two different people having a conversation right now. Do you want any altcoins? Oh my god, is that Mertz Klamurder? This is... Minus, minus two me. Minus two me, I'll take it. Minus two? Thank you. Minus one, I'll take it. I'll take it. Origin a bit, please. Um, viral tweet where uh, someone said whenever their computer fans start making a lot of noise, they look at their computer and say, are you mining bet coins, you little shit? Then applied valley girl voice. And now I don't even know. It's just added on. It's, it's uh, you know, it's like dropping a piece of chewing gum on the floor. Like, it's got so much unique character now. The flavor is tough to describe, or stomach for that matter. <laughs> Noise. Don't hit me. I'm leaving. It raised your damage by 2.5. That's crazy to think about because if you were here like a couple uh, a couple hours ago, we were doing a blue baby run. Uh, well, we were doing a Tainted Azazel run that made it to Mega Satan, and then we re-spawned uh, as Blue Baby thanks to the Ankh. We had 
seven four damage on the Mega Satan fight. So the fact that basically our entire damage was covered by one item, as long as that item is small rock. We did have a good rate of fire, don't get me wrong. I knew that was coming. Not a second one, though. Not a second one. Pot playroom. Jesse, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I still don't even know what the pot play is, man. Don't tell me. Stapler? I believe I have my stapler. Okay, when we're doing boss rush, boss rush, boss rush, and we're skipping! We're skipping so that we can see angel rooms for certain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an incredible room. He's done it. Dude, we finally mastered Isaac. Stop asking me when I'm going to do hot tub streams. The answer is never. Due to my copious amounts of body hair and current incarnation of the dad bod, um, I, I couldn't weather the slings and arrows of, of chat if I took my shirt off on camera. Just get over it, okay? At some point, I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to buy a Peloton. I'm going to get freaking jacked. It's going to be incredible. I'm going to turn into Lance Armstrong. I've already got the testicular configuration to make it work. Then I'm going to get laser hair removal on my entire body, except on my head. Instead of a laser, I'm going to get uh, a hair transplant. And then I'm just going to be like, what? It just I went, I just changed my style up. It's not a hair transplant. I just like, I got it cut different. And then I guess it started growing back. Um, and then you're all going to be sorry. Then you're all going to be sorry, man. I'm going to start wearing a suit on stream. I'm going to start streaming at 7 a.m. Pacific time. I'm going to start getting a spray tan. Dude, I was talking with Kate about uh, tanning. It's crazy, like... Um I mean, the way I understand it, tanning has deservedly fallen out of fashion as people have, you know, realized that it's, you know, <laughs> gives you an incredibly high, oh, I, I guess I shouldn't say incredibly high, but a much higher risk of skin cancer. Um, and also is just, you know, ages you prematurely as well. But it's crazy. I don't know if any, if, if you're my age and, you know, the OC was super popular when you were in high school. Kids were, like, well, like, I say kids, but, like, high school students were freaking, like, going tanning in, like, their, their, their 10th grade. Like, they're getting, uh, they're getting, they're going to tanning salons. They got, like, a, a $100 gift certificate for Christmas from their grandma, and they're going to tanning salons. It's like the, the, you know, at the same time we were in high school, we're like, I wonder what's going to, like, age badly about mid-2000s culture. Because I feel like we got it all figured out. Like, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, letting minors blast themselves with ultraviolet radiation, like, just so that they can look a little cooler. Anyway. Down to the next floor. Yeah, 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 because we're going to Boss Rush. Hello, baby. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, and frosted tips. Ooh, ooh. They don't get a lot of vitamin D down in the mines. Okay, haha. Ha. When I said miners, I meant, you know. Yeah, exactly. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> I meant people under the age of 18. If you're over the age of 18 and you want to tan, that doesn't... Uh, 
I mean, it doesn't bother me either way, I suppose, but at least you're making, like, you're a, an informed decision at that point. And it is crazy to think about, too. Like, you know, when I turned 18, I was like, finally, like, the law recognizes that I'm, like, ready to make my own decisions. When you're 14 and you think of being an 18-year-old, you think of somebody in, like, a three-piece suit. When I'm, now I'm 32, I, I think back at, you know, both myself and also my friends at the age of 18, and I was like, this, we were so insanely stupid. That's, that's really young. I look back at myself at like 25 and I'm like, man, I was pretty dumb. Food poisoning isn't real? What are you thinking, man? Specifically mouth? No, not, not so much mouth. Just in general. Hey, baby. What about on crustables? No, I stand by that one. It, like, I love meal prep. I got nothing against meal prep. Um, but um, meal prepping sandwiches doesn't make any sense to me. That's that's one that I don't I don't quite understand. I, I stand by my position in the sandwich argument. Still eating fish and chips with cutlery? More people are... The, the older my demographic gets, the more people are gonna uh, come to my side on that one. I, I firmly believe. I think people will... As, as, they, as you get older, there's a lot of graphs that, that change values. When you're young, your distaste for doing the dishes is like 99. You're like, I'd rather cut off like an appendage than even freaking touch the sink. You know? You, you, you scramble eggs, you, you go, I'm gonna eat the eggs, you put water in the egg pan, and then you leave it in the sink for like, you know, two days. And then you're like, hey, why is your dirty pan in the sink? And they're like, it's sulking. Yeah, for two days? I don't think it's sulking, I think it's, it's fermenting. Anyway, um, and, well, that's all I got. Anyway, so your t distaste for dishes is up here. Your desire to do dishes as you get older actually goes up, I think. I, I can't figure out how to do this in, in the mirrored camera. But essentially, I don't mind. I mean, Kate does the dishes most of the time. And, and she can hear me, so I'm not going to um, try to pretend like I do more of the dishes than she does. However, doing the dishes doesn't bother me now. It's just something you got to do, you know, every day or so in order to keep the place tidy so my desire to keep my hands clean is way higher than my distaste for doing the dishes I think most people or at least many people will reach a point at, at some point in their lives where they decide you know what I could just eat this with a fork and then my hands won't get like kind of oily and gross and then I'll just wash like an extra fork and knife after uh, after I eat, because I mean those are very easy pieces of of uh, well they're very easy dishes to wash in general. I eat some foods with my hands still, you know, like if we go to McDonald's, I'm not eating the French fries with a knife and fork, but. I mean, they're, they're, you could persuade me to do it, I think. What am I doing? Okay, boss rush, that's right. Gotta remember, boss rush. Can of corn. I, I, like, I, I don't see what you get out of it when you eat it with your hands. I'm not trying to like dredge up the argument. This is more of like a director's cut. It's a revisiting many years later. Um, like, what, I guess what you get out of eating fish and chips with your hands is you don't... Hold on, have we been to our item room? We need to make boss rush. You don't have to dirty up a fork and or a knife, even though you could probably just use the fork to cut it up to begin with. And 
I mean, I guess people keep saying it's easier. I don't think it's easier. <laughs> I think they're the same difficulty. Like our baby uses a fork and she's not even seven months old yet. So the, the argument that one's easier than the other falls on deaf ears for me for the time being. Um, what I think you get out of it, I honestly think it's like a, it's a, a flex. That's cursed eye. Like, I think it's one of those things where it's like, you know, growing up, you only use a knife and fork to eat uh, pizza if you're like a, an out-of-touch millionaire. And uh, I'm not an out-of-touch millionaire. I'm an everyman. I'm a man of the people. So as a result, I, I identify with the hand eaters. I don't see it like that. I don't, I don't see, I don't think I'm better than anybody else because I eat fried foods with a fork and a knife. There may be some other reasons that feed into the superiority complex. Um, I just think it's... I, I just prefer not having oily hands is really what it comes down to. I don't like having oily hands and then constantly doing the gambit of am I going to wipe my oily hands knowing I'm just going to pick up the fish later in a second anyway and then have to, you know, is the nihilist napkin... I, I'm a I'm a fork and knife man. Yeah, get me out of here, please. So you don't drink soup from the bowl either. I use a I use a spoon. Um, help me. I use a spoon for the uh, for the soup. For sure. Trying to figure out what you're saying here. I mean, the, the the argument that you're making of, like, you know, the, the trump card of, like, why not just use your fork and knife to eat pizza? You're absolutely right. I, but it's not the wild card you think it is. Instead, I'm like, sometimes I do. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it just my, my hands feel nicer. I, I, you know, not always. It depends on the... Uh, the situation. Like, cold pizza from the fridge, usually I'll just grab it with my hands. But, like, sometimes if the pizza's piping hot, I'll use a knife and fork, man. And the only argument I've heard against it is cultural, which falls on deaf ears for me. It's like, you know, who do you think you are using a knife and fork to eat pizza? I'm like, I'm the guy who doesn't want to, you know, use four napkins to eat two slices of pepperoni pizza, I guess. Who do you think you are? I am. I think the important thing is both both sides in the debate feel like the other side is insane. <laughs> That's what I've noticed. There's logical arguments in favor of both. I just prefer the logical arguments from overuse of the fork and knife versus underuse. Yeah, like, oftentimes, I mean, it's been a long time since I had a burger, because I haven't, you know, been to a restaurant since, you know, 2019. Um, well, that's not true, but it's since 2020, for sure. But, I use a knife and a fork to, to eat a burger sometimes. Usually, not the first few bites, but if it falls apart on me, they got the knife and fork there. I'll, I'll deconstruct it a little bit and, and eat it that way. Do you use a knife and fork on wings? I've been known to. I don't I don't find it that uh I mean what's what's the argument against it instead of like just it's it's not the norm. I don't understand. Honestly kind of based. That's what I'm saying, man. I've been telling you I'm based for years. <laughs> I mean, I don't use like a... Hold on, we gotta make boss rush. I think we gotta make a sacrifice here. I don't use like a... Like with a chicken wing, I don't slice a little piece off. But I might use a knife and fork to crack like the, the joint on the bone. And then, you know, it's much easier to eat the wing from that, uh, from that position. I'm just not giving anybody any machismo credit for... You know, eating some, something with their hands just to do it. 
Game Ovaries 420? <laughs> what a name. Thank you. Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Do you use a knife and fork with sushi? No. I mean, I, I don't use a fork for soup either. I use, you know, I use chopsticks for sushi. A sandwich is preferable with your hands, for sure. If it falls apart at the end, though, I'm not just eating it, uh... I'm not just using my hands to pick up, like, you know, aioli-drenched lettuce leaves or whatever. I'll use a knife and fork to, to ensure that you get a, a, a representative cross-section of the sandwich. Honestly, you guys aren't invited to my barbecue anyway, so I wouldn't sweat the decorum too much. Okay, we're going light path. I know what kind of dad Chad is, that's what I'm realizing. This is all coming back to the barbecue bit. You're, you're the dad that uh, makes comments about everything. <laughs> Whoa, knife and fork, huh? What's that about? You like those shoes? New Balances. How do you feel about those? We had to do boss rush, didn't we? I teleported out in order to go on the light side path, which we were going to do anyway. Hold on, it's still open, right? Doesn't it open until 20 minutes? Or is it when you go in, it's closed forever? It won't start now because you picked up an item. Son of a... That's true. Well, on the other hand... F. You know? Maybe that guy was right. Maybe 20% less banter would be good. By the way, I saw Apollo in chat. Hello, Apollo. French fries, fork, or nah? Either or. Like, I, I don't know. I guess, like, the, I've misrepresented myself by taking the position that, like, it's categorically one or the other. The... Honestly? Like, it's it's whatever you're into, right? There's no reason to, to not use a fork in a lot of situations. There's no reason to use a fork, like... You can do... It's one of those foods you could definitely do either or. No, okay. The, the new rule, if chat calls out the tinted rock, you're not allowed to uh, get it. Oh, there it is. Why is there their packing tape going on outside? Some of the some of the sounds that that exit my office uh, or that happen on the outside of my office are are very scary out of context. If you go to a fast food restaurant, do you ask for cutlery? And these are just insane questions asked by insane people. No, I get it in a paper bag through the drive-thru and then I eat it in my car while I'm driving home. And then when I get home, I throw out the empty bag. Duh. It's COVID. The perfect crime. Stealing, stealing food from myself. Uh, judgment card, please. Judgment card. I mean, it's one of those, it, and this is, like, not ironic now, or not uh, intended to lampshade, but judgment card? My god, he's almost a genius. Like, it's the kind of argument, like, I have very little patience for, like, the older I get. It's, it's, <laughs> um, it's a self-own, so if you take offense to it, it's a self-own before you get mad. I'm insulting myself. It's really the currency of a man who has too much time on his hands is to get in these arguments about the, the social norms of how to how to eat french fries, right? We got bigger problems right now. We could talk about... I, I, you know, it's like the same thing I bring up like whenever I, t I talk about like how I, I don't care if a hot dog is a sandwich anymore or like... Um, 
What's the other one? Oh, whether do you think pineapple belongs on pizza? LOL, la meme, la meme, la meme. I'm, I'm always like, dude, don't tell me that, dude. Just like, why don't you talk about like your values or something instead? Like, why? It was, I, I can't engage in these arguments just for, like for rhetoric's sake anymore. With friends, yes. With with strangers, like no, it's just like it's a waste of perfectly good uh, neurotransmitters. That's your brand, though. No, it is, but not with you, with my friends, <laughs> not with chat. You know, when you have that foundation where, like, the argument is for sport because you have that rapport with one another, it's a different thing than, uh... Lemmington 1961 in chat. It's a different story. For chat, I want to know more about, um... You know, what, what makes you tick? What's your perfect Sunday? What's your Desert Island Discs? I don't want to, you know, if you put, if a hot dog was in a bun and the bun had a top, would you call it a moonroof? And I'm like, I don't need, Jesse, what the hell are you talking about? It's too much, it's, it's rhetoric for rhetoric's sake. Tell, what makes you, what makes you tick? What gets your gears going? Not in that way, I already know the answer. It's hente. <laughs> I like that one. I mean like on a spiritual level. And don't say anime. When was the last time you called your mom? What'd you say? When was the last time you told your mom I love you instead of waiting for her to say I love you and then you saying love you too? When was the last time you initiated that? Makes you think, man. 20 minutes ago? Alright, that's pretty good. See, I'm for that. Don't stand there. What if you don't love your mom? Um, a wise man once said, I love my baby mama. I never let her go. I think I walked into blue fires like six times. <laughs> Light side path, light side path. Can you get mega, mega, mega Satan if you get two keys? Um, no, I don't. I don't have a punchline for that. I got nothing. By the way, Apollo, I saw you again. You said don't say hi to me five minutes after I'm here. Hello, hello, Apollo, hello. You can't stop me, haha. -ha. I like to acknowledge the streamers. It's nice to be watched by other streamers, you know? It's the greatest compliment you can get on this website. I'm a streamer. Okay, it's nice to be acknowledged. Okay, I'm sorry. The, the punchline's too good not to use, though. I was gonna say I meant uh, it's nice to be acknowledged by other partnered streamers, <laughs> which I, I apologize, but it do be making me low, though. Uh. Yeah, that's Chibli's got a great ratio, you know? Chibli... At, at any given moment, 10% of chat has the, uh... Has the, the validation check mark. You <laughs> Dude, you remember? I don't... They, like, all drama on, like, streamers' social media... Well, not all drama, but, uh, drama, but all, all drama associated with, like, the right way to behave on stream is just, like, hilarious looking back. Do you remember there used to be, like, channels where if you, uh... If you came into chat with your verified partner badge, they would ban you because they didn't want you chatting and possibly taking viewers away from them from knowing that other partnered streamers existed. 
That's that's so good. I love the idea that you'd be like, if you're gonna be in my chat, please remove your partner badge. Otherwise, I'm gonna take it as advertising and time you out. This is a, it's a very funny website. Hello. Whoa. Sweet potato, thank you. Yeah, follow Apollo on Twitter. Look, you can I'll let you advertise in my chat. Dude, anybody that's been on the NLSS, I'm not gonna tell you not to advertise in my chat. You pretty much gave me, I don't know, like a thousand hours of free labor. Like, go ahead, man. Advertise to your heart's content. Yeah, look at that. Go ahead. Look at he's even he's linking you to a tweet. Okay, hold on. Let me see what he's got. Let, let's see what he had to say here. It's a new status. You won't want to miss it's a it's an advertisement for the checkpoint league. There you go. Check it out. Go good. I'm I can't tell you how to interact with the tweet that might be considered brigading, but I, what a tweet. I was happy to see it. My longest yeah boy ever. Very excited to see who takes my place, Apollo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Corpse, cor maybe it's Corpse Husband. Maybe it did, it could it be Jimmy Fallon? Could it be Jimmy, Jimmy F? Dude, why are mafia names so funny? Before bed last night, I was just, like, I was reading up on the history of uh, the real Lucky Luciano. You know, not the guy who goes, you know I had to do it to him. But, like, the, um, the, the actual mobster from, like, the 1920s and 30s. And I'm like, they, if you ever want just to have, like, a... I mean, they did some horrible stuff, so I'm not trying to make light of that. That being said, if you ever want an easy dose of uh, comedy, um, awkward segue. Uh oh. Um, go look, like, just go to Wikipedia, type in, like, the name of a famous, uh, you know, crime family from La Cosa Nostra, and then just click on associates and just, I guess we'll be going up, which is good. Um, just look at all their gamer tags. It said, Tommy, Tommy Gaspipe Higgins, also known as, uh, Timmy Legbreaker, Magoo, Old Pop Bottle Glass. And you're like, what the, the heck is he, what's he talking about? He's got so many names. Get blasted, thank you. <laughs> you have pepperoni, Petey Pepperoni Pizza, Baby Tony Montana Tuesday. Like, I'll, I'll show you, okay, here's, okay, type in, um, Meyer Lansky. Okay, Meyer Lansky is like, he was like a mafia account. You don't go to his name yet, okay? Now you click on Charles Lucky Luciano, and then you go a little further, okay? So you go to something like, um... Just find someone's name. Here we go. Uh, Joe Adonis. Other names. Okay, this is not that good. This this one really burned me. Also known as Joey A, Joey Adonis, Joe Adone, Joe Arosa, James Arosa, Joe DeMio. We can do better than that. What about Frankie Yale? Other names. Frankie Yale. You're really making a liar out of me, huh? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Mike Mer Michelle Merlot. Other names. Mike Merlot. All right. You know what? Can it? This bit's going nowhere. How did I come across the only three mafia members in history whose uh, nickname was just the short form of their actual birth name? Like that's just that's embarrassing. That hurts. Plus, I'm gonna get freaking whacked probably. Hey, he's making fun of our name. 
Get him, Timmy Tulip. I'm not Timmy Tulip, I'm David Daisy. Also known as uh, Bill the Vegan Butcher. What would your mob name be? Probably something like like Harry. Is my guess. Dude, we're gonna frickin' die. What happened to this run? Oh, I know what happened to this run. You gotta just- <laughs> Mission failed. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then we'll, we're, I'm gonna come back and play some more Isaac though, I think. Honestly, I'm feeling it today. I apologize to the Variety Martys, but we'll, we'll be back for more Isaac in just a moment here. Temporarily. Um, how did this run fail? Bad Boney. <laughs>